Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Got some ammunition to run through the ringer today. You know, I've never actually tested a lot of this, if any at all, on my channel recently. 40 Smith & Wesson. This is our Winchester Ranger Series RA-40T. This is a 180 grain jacketed hollow point. This test was sponsored by Sam at SG Ammo. He contacted me and asked me to run some 40 through any barrel lengths that I can get my hands on as well as do some gel shots. So let's throw this guy on the table and see what we have in store today. We have three barrel lengths for testing. As I mentioned, we have a three, four and a quarter, and 16 inch. We have our Pro Chrono Digital as always. It's about 55 to 60 degrees outside and very windy today. Hopefully we won't have any audio issues. I have the B-roll camera going as well. After we're done with our velocity, we're gonna attempt to do accuracy. It may not work too well with the wind and then we'll go to the gel testing. Up first, we'll grab our three inch barrel. This is a Springfield XD40 subcompact. Borrowed this from my friend. He doesn't shoot 40 very much anymore. Nine forty-five. Nine fifty-one. Get a reading off that one. 924, 946, 952, turning a pull a little left, 935, 892, grab two more here because I want to make sure I get a good 10. 949, 971. Not bad, subsonic round. Now our Smith & Wesson MMP core. This is my nine millimeter that I have the 40 barrel swap back into. It is four and a quarter. That last string of the subcompact, I only shot nine. I shot the 10th off camera and I'll just include it in the summary afterwards. Nine ninety three, nine ninety three again, ten twenty three, ten oh one, ten sixteen, nine ninety eight, nine ninety eight again, ten oh four, ten oh two. 9.99. Shoot the M&P a lot better. Better grip on that guy. And now our Keltec Sub 2000. I also loaned this from a friend of a friend. I did shoot this off camera. I'm going to shoot this right-handed because the brass tends to get thrown in my face if I shoot it left-handed. This one takes Glock 22 mags. Charging handle on this guy is in the back. Change my chronograph string here. Eleven twenty two, eleven fifty three, ten ninety eight, eleven thirty one. 1146, 1143, 1149, 1157, 1139, 1156. Not bad from this little tiny rifle, tiny folding rifle. Bonus round. Does anybody know what these bugs are? Are these ash borers? Seen them all over the property today. They're kind of big little guys. Oh, this guy. There's one. There's another one. Bonus points if you guys can tell me what these things are. He's just going to town. He's like, hey, look at me, look at me. 
Here is our RA40T, approximately 25 yards with the Keltec Sub 2000, 1.44 inches. Not bad. Got a little bit of wind going on. This is probably the third group. Similar results. Had I not pulled that one, it would have been a little better. At approximately 15 feet, we have some brand new clear ballistics gel blocks, 6x6x16 by six by setup. We have our ProKernel Digital. If it doesn't read, we have good averages from the three barrel lengths beforehand. We're going to attempt to take all three shots with one video and then go down and see what we did. We should have enough room on this block that with a pistol round, we're going to get a lot of expansion and we're not going to get a lot of fragmentation and large wound cavities that are going to muddy up the block at all. So we'll start with the three inch first. Velocity 962. So that was lower right was the three inch. Now our four and a quarter. I must have pulled that. 1002 for the four and a quarter. Looks like we're in a good spot there. And now the tricky part is the rifle. Now our Keltec Sub 2000. Ten sixty three. top down shot of all three wound tracks this one right here was the four and a quarter this was the sub 2000 and the one on the bottom is our three inch unless otherwise I will annotate if different we all have very similar penetration depths we come here right around the 13 and a half for the three and 16 and 14 for the four and a quarter. You can see those talons there. Wound tracks look pretty much the same. Instant expansion, almost maybe a quarter of an inch in when they start to expand. Give me a second and I'll pull these out. Three inch. Four and a quarter and 16 you can tell in the 16 it pushed those very sharp pedals all the way back I'll of course include stills with measurements and i'll remember not to delete said measurements this time well folks those talons of justice are nice and sharp i did feel like we had a little bit of over expansion in the 16 inch because the little talons folded all the way back underneath the bullet, but otherwise good expansion and penetration out of all three barrel lengths. Accuracy wise, we had acceptable accuracy, which was right in line with the Q4455 and the Fiocchi load that we tested on the same day. The RA40T actually had the highest 180 grain velocity that we tested on that day as well. One thing I did notice that's nice about all the Winchester LE loadings is they have ample flash suppressant in them and we didn't have any noticeable flash even out of the 3 inch barrel. As always I'd like to thank Sam at SG Ammo for asking us to test this ammunition. The more information I feel I can provide you guys, the better informed you can be when you make your purchases. I'd like to thank my friend Josh for letting us borrow his XD subcompact as well as a local reserve officer for lending us the Keltec Sub 2000. As always, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters and you all for watching. And until next time, catch you at the range.
after we done. After we're done with our velocity, we'll attempt some accuracy. After we're done with our 